All right, now it's time for our salsa hands-on challenge. So create an Apex class that returns both contacts and leads based on a parameter. All right, so let's go ahead. The Apex class must be called contact and lead search. Copy that. Let's start with that. So if I go back to my developer console, which is already open here, I'm going to close this back to logs and file, new Apex class. The name is contact and lead search. Boom, public contact, public class, contact and lead search. So if I go back, oops, go back here the apex class must have public static method called search contacts and leads all right and then it should be written in the a list of a list of s object i'm going to copy this public static all right so if i flip back here i'm going to say public method static which is returning a list of a list of as object boom boom the name is boom search contacts and leads and you want to pass a parameter right a string of search text let's name it like that and then you boom boom and you boom right so let's go back to our challenge here what else do we need to do? The method must accept an incoming string as a parameter. The, met the method should then find any contact or lead that matches the string as part of their, of either the first or last name. The method should finally use a return type of list of list of as object. Okay, so now we want to do the salsa. We have a sample code, which actually we can use for this particular challenge. So I am going to copy this code, boom, and go down here and flip back to our um, class, contact and lead search, and I'm gonna paste it here. Okay, it looks a bit messy. So I'm gonna scroll this down a bit here and I'm gonna con co command A and shift tab. That looks better, right? So what are we going to find? Not Wingo or SFDC. We want to find whatever is being passed on the method, which is search tag. So I'm gonna change this to a variable search Text in all fields returning contact. Right? What do they say in the challenge? The method should then find any contact or lead that matches the string as part of either the first or last name. Okay? So contact first name or last name, right? Comma. Let's do that and or let's do that even so you can see it better. Boom. And then lead also first name, last name. We don't want department. Who needs department, right? Okay. Boom. So if I say the first element is contact, right? I want to say here is contact because this is the first element. Search. Let's name it search contacts, right? This is the contact array, search list, the first element, okay? And the same thing we're gonna say to lead, search leads, 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 lead, search list. 
the second element or one there. This is the lead, right? Now we are going to loop system.divac found the following contacts, right? Or dot, whatever. And for contact, C search contacts system dot debug C dot name okay so for the following leads for contact not contact lead lead let's name it L search leads system dot debug L dot last name l dot first name okay lead copy that i actually want to do the same with this but c dot last name c dot first name so this curly bracket belongs to the method right this belongs to the loop and then um we want to return the search list here. List of list. Okay. 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 <laughs> Bear with me here. It's late. It's, oh, it's not late, but it's not in the morning. And I'm hungry. Anyways, um, public static list. This is the method. So I'm going to say return. Boom. The search list. All right. So why on earth am I doing the debug stuff here? Because I want to test this, right? Now we don't have any problems. No more red, ugly dot, whatever. I'm just saying we're doing wrong. You're doing wrong, dude. You're doing something wrong. So don't be anxious at looking at this code like uh, uh, somebody I know who keeps saying to me, what, what, what's the problem? It has to because you're still coding, okay? If you're still coding, it will always have problems because you're still typing. You're not done yet, right? Once you're done, done, you're done with your head. In your mind, you're done. Oh, I'm done now. Then check the problems. Don't keep looking at the problems when you actually are still working and coding on here, right? And then get anxious. And what is this problem keep popping up? Because you're still typing, okay? You're still typing and you're not done yet. Now you're done. You can save this guy. So star, no more star. That means you're saved. So we actually want to try this out. But as the challenge say, note, because Sarsal indexes data for searching, keyword, you must create a contact record and a lead record before checking this challenge. Both records must have, uh, must have the last name Smith. So let's do um mr and mrs smith okay you know um who played it angelina jolie and brad pitt mr and mrs smith you know <laughs> okay let's go back here and create a lead i think we have a bunch of contact names smith right jake uh, there so let's just create a lead name smith a lead i'm gonna go to my sandwich here come on here i click leads and let's say do we have a smith here i don't think so right let's see all oh well we don't have a smithy there is no smith in here let's name ian smith salutation first name is ian last name is smith company is boom company okay well now we have an and Ian Smith, we are going to save. Now, let's try our class. So if I go here, it's called contact and lead search, right? It says contact and lead search. And then we are going to go do a method, search contact and leads, right? So let's do that. Control E, boom. So let's take a peek so we can see the name exactly I'm going to delete everything here so if I say if I say contact and lead search dot right search 
There. Boom. Search contact and leads and the name is Smithy. Mr. Smith. So if I do that and I want to open the lock and execute anonymous window and open the lock, we want to have this debug comes up and we should find the contacts here and the leads. If that's done, then you're good with your challenge. Okay, so you do this. This is the class name, right? You do the class name method and then you, you pass the string, which is Smith. You pass the string into here and it, this code will run. So we're going to do execute, execute. We execute the code and we just see oh, debug only. This is too junky. What is this? I don't even know all the numbers. What is that? Just the debug, please. Boom. Found the following contacts. Smith Jane, Smith 2, Smith 1, Smith Kathy, Smith Joe, and Leeds Ian Smith. All right, we are done, dude. We are going to grab our 500 points and eat some dinner. Chick, chick challenge to earn 500 points. So I will see you on the next one. Apex triggers. Trigger happy. We are going to be trigger happy. We are going to trigger everything we can trigger. <laughs> okay, so get your 500 points. Make sure you check it and woohoo! Got a shiny new badge. I'll see you on Apex Trigger. Boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word. Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.